हम अव गुण परे एक गुण नाही अमृत छाद बिख बिख खाई माया मोह परम पैपूल सुत दारा स्यों प्रीत लगाई एक उत्तम पंथ सुनियो गुरु संगत तेह मिलंत जम त्रास मिटाई एक अरदास पाठ कीरत की गुरु रामदास राख हो सरनाई तेरा जोर मैं गूंगा कहता हूं तेरा सदका तेरी शरण राजान राज पाणान पाण देवान देव उपमा महान चवर छत्र तख्त दे मालिक सतगुरु साहिब श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी दी साजी निवाजी गुरु रूप गुरु खासा सा संगत जियो आओ गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज दी बख्शी हुई फतेह दी सांज पाईए रसना पवित्र करिए गाज वाज के बुलाओ जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह इट्स फाइनली हियर Sikhi camp reunion I know there's many people many sangata that are here that have been waiting for this day for many many months we are now into 2017 but we got there in the end reunion is here I've been asked very briefly to speak about and share with the sangat about Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Unfortunately the time is is such that we don't really have enough time and I mean that in two ways. We don't have enough time in the first instance in that literally we don't have enough time because the divan is is about to end or will be ending soon. And in the second instance we don't have enough time because there is not enough time ever that we can talk about Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. There is not enough time in our lifetime there is not enough time in this world that we can allocate to the upama to the vidyai of sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj we don't have that time it's impossible how many times can we can we praise guru sahib we can't we will surely die before we have even scratched the surface of how great the king of kings is the theme of camp 2016 was jagna to awaken and the theme of our reunion today is to reawaken to reawaken that soul to reawaken that love for guru sahib but how do we reawaken that love in order to reawaken something it needs to be a awake in the first instance and listening to to veer ji here talk about the issues that are still rife within our calm it shows that we still haven't really awoken ourselves and the biggest way that we can awaken ourselves is to fall at the feet of satguru sri guru granth sahib ji if we really want to wake up out of this slumber if we are the nation of sleeping lions that we were in 1980s and we are still in that same situation where we are still sleeping lions that we need to come to the king of that pride and that king is sat here right now by falling at the feet of sadguru sri guru granth sahib ji what we are saying is that we are nothing and you are everything and in order to become like those guru sikhs that virji spoke about of baba banda singh bahadur and like bible jeet singh ji spoke about baba deep singh ji baba nand singh ji what did all those guru sikhs have in common bibi shashil kaur we've just literally just heard about all these guru sikhs all these mahan guru sikhs what did they have in common 
they had Sikhi and they had Siddiq. And where do you get those two things from? From the feet of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Without Amrit, we cannot even call ourselves the Sikh of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Simple as that. Veer Ji said we have to start speaking the truth. Now's the time to start speaking the truth. If we haven't taken Amrit, then we have no Guru. And that might sound harsh, but that's the reality. Sometimes we hear this, this saying or this phrase, the bitter truth. And that is the bitter truth. Sasanga Ji, that we need to take Amrit. That was a, the, the ongoing message from Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Whenever anybody had a hukam nama at the camp, the ongoing message, the reoccurring message was Amrit Shako. That if you haven't taken Amrit yet, then why are we waiting? Why are we asleep? What are we waiting for? Bible Jeet Singh spoke about that, that laziness that's within us. Are we going to remain lazy? Are we going to remain waiting one day that Guru Sahib will do kirpa? Guru Sahib tells us, Bin Bhaga Sata Sangha Na Labba. And the fact that we are all sat in here, in the Sata Sangha, in the sanctuary of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, shows that we have got good karam. Shows that we have got Vardde Bhag. Shows that we have got the kirpa within us. If we didn't have that kirpa, we would not be sitting here right now on a Saturday evening. There are many other places we could be right now. But we have got that kirpa. Guru Sahib has blessed us with that kirpa. Now we need to act upon that kirpa. We now need to take responsibility for ourselves and think about our lives and where we are in this path of Sikhi. Are we just going to continue to walk and walk and walk with our head down? Or are we going to actually look up and see Guru Granth Sahib Ji as our Guru? Are we going to take those steps towards Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Become the Guru Sikhs of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Because there is no difference between the Guru Sikhs of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj in 1700s than the Guru Sikhs that are sitting here right now in the 2000s. Just 300 years later, Sahar Sangha Ji, the, the same Amrit that was given to the Panj Piyare is the same Amrit that we all have access to right now. It's the same Amrit, it's the same Panjabaniya that Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj placed into that bata, the same patase, the same water that those Panjipyare fell to their knees and begged for and the same Amrit that Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj fell to his knees and begged for. Whose sick are we? Are we the sick of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj or are we the sick of people outside? Our Guru is so amazing that he gives up absolutely everything for us. Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Maharaj, when they used to do Katha, because a lot of people don't realize that Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Maharaj used to do Katha as well. They weren't just a surbeer of a Guru. They were also the epitome of absolutely perfectness. So they had everything about them. And when they used to do Katha, they used to talk about the different types of Gurus. Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji tells us there are 12 different types of Gurus. We haven't got the time to go through each and every single one and the examples that they gave. But just to give you an example of the different types of Gurus that there are in the world. There's a Guru which is called a Pringi Guru, which is the type of Guru that gets its name from an insect. And this insect is so powerful that what it can do is it can grasp hold of another insect and it can change that insect's form into itself. That's a Paringi Guru. But it can't do it with every single insect. It's only certain insects that it can do it with. Another type of Guru that Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji tells us about is a Kachu Guru or a Kamma Guru. That this is a Guru, just like the, the turtle, when a turtle gives birth and the mother turtle gives birth, it buries its eggs in the sand and then it comes back to the shore and it focuses its nazar on just a few of those eggs. Yeah. And whichever egg that that, that that turtle is focused on, that is the egg that survives. That's a different type of guru. I'll explain where I'm going with this. If you're thinking, why is he talking about turtles and insects? And Another type of Guru is a Pavan Chandam Guru. And that Guru, 
what happens with the tree, the Jandan tree, it allows its fragrance to spread to those that are nearby. And then there's the Paras Guru. A Paras Guru is the one that if you touch it, if you are, it makes it, it turns metal into gold. All these qualities are within Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The Paringi Guru, the Guru that takes something and turns it into itself. Vaho Vaho Gobind Singh, Ape Gurjela. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj showed that he was that same Paringi style of Guru. That I will take you and I will give you my own roop. I will give you what I have got. That is the power of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. But it's not accessible to absolutely everyone. That Paringi Guru has limits. But Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj doesn't differentiate between who is going to take Amrit and who isn't. Whose roop they are going to bless and who they aren't. Guru Sahib gives it to absolutely everyone, as long as we fall to their feet. The Kachu Guru, the one who by just by looking at that Guru, or just by looking at their Jele, becomes like a Gursik. Guru Sahib does that. Just by having their, their Darshan, we can become Nihal. We can become absolutely enlightened. Just by having the blessed vision of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The Paras Guru, just by touching the Guru, by doing the Seva of the Guru, we become absolutely enthralled and in love with Guru Sahib by doing their Seva. And the Chandan Guru, by doing the Sangat of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, by doing the Sangat of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji and Siddhi Guru Gobind Singh Ji and the Sangat, then we become like the saints. All of these qualities, and we could go on and on and on about all the different types of qualities of the different types of Guru Sahib on, they are all contained within Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So when we look in our lives and we think about the types of teachers that we have, because these are all different types of Gurus as well, whether it's our lecturers at university, whether it's our driving instructor, or whether it's our teachers at school, whoever it may be, these are all teachers, these are all Gurus in their own respect. But there is only one Sat Guru. And that Sat Guru is Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji from Ikko Ankar to Atara Hedas Bees. Let's make no bones about it. Anybody who does Shanka on Bani, that person is not a Guru Sikh. Anybody who doubts the Bani of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji cannot be a Guru Sikh because they're doubting their Guru. They have no parosa in their Guru. If we don't have parosa, if we don't have faith, then we have nothing. Because in order to, to become something, we need to believe in something. Take it on our own sort of personal lifestyles. In order to become whatever occupation we may want, doctors, lawyers, or whatever it may be, in order to become and have that occupation, we need to believe that actually, yes, that occupation first exists. I can actually become a doctor. I can actually become a lawyer. If we don't believe that that exists, then how can we become that person? If we don't believe in our guru, then how can we become one with our guru? And how do we become one with our Guru? How do we believe in our Guru? We fall to the feet. I've said it so many times. We fall to the feet of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. We beg for Amrit. And for those Guru Sikhs that have taken Amrit and have been blessed with that, then where do we go from here? How much Nithanem are we doing? How much Koj of Gurbani are we doing? How much Prachar are we doing? Because there's no point just sitting here and reading Bani to ourselves and having that within us. That's all great. But Guru Sahib also tells us that to the biggest vidya that you can do, the biggest seva that you can do is to share. And what have we got that we can share? Every single person here has something that they can share. When I talk, I'm, I'm a school teacher, so when I talk to my students and I talk about Sikhi, I ask my students, I say, what's the most precious thing in this world? The most precious thing. And they say, oh, my phone or oh, my family, internet. All these kinds of things, that's the most precious thing to my life is my internet. Don't take my laptop away from me. But then we start thinking deeper, what is the most, most precious thing that every single person has access to? There is not a single person that doesn't have access to it. 
I want you to think about it yourself. What is it? What can be so precious that every single person has access to it, regardless of your situation? Whether you are the most richest person or the poorest person, you still have this one thing. Time. Every single one of us has time. And the reason why it's so precious is because if you give time, you'll never get it back again. You can give money and in exchange for money, you will get something. So you can go to a shop and you can hand over some money and you can get a good, whatever it is. You can get your goods, you can get your product. But what Guru Sahib tells us is that when you give your time to a Kalpur Gwahi Guru, that is the biggest thing that you can give. And that is the most valuable thing in this world, is your time. How are we going to spend that time? Are we going to use that time wisely? Or are we going to waste that time? We have a certain amount of days, we have a certain amount of breaths on this earth. We are all fortunate to be not only human beings, but also to be born into the families of Gursiks. Why? Because we have direct access to the truth. The whole world is searching for the truth. The whole world. Every single person is looking for something to fulfill their lives. Sahar Sangaji, we have the truth right here. But do we have the eyes to recognize the truth? Do we have the eyes to recognize that we are sitting with Siddhi Guru Narag Dev Ji Maharaj right now? And I'll be honest, I don't have the eyes. I don't. I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, Jaskira Singh, he's made it. Absolutely not. Because if I had the eyes, Sahar Sangaji, I would never leave this darbar ever again. And that's the truth. Because if Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, if I really truly saw Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj sitting there, would we ever leave? Absolutely not. When our Mahapurk comes to this country, we follow them around. And that's nothing to say that we shouldn't. Absolutely. I have full parosa in, in Santa Mahapurks. That they are the one that will connect us with Guru Sahib and that, that will connect us with the Kalpurk of Guru. Absolutely. Full Sharda and full parosa in Santa Mahapurks. If a poor and Brahm Gyani can teach us something, then that is brilliant. But Sasangaji, we follow around Santa Mahapurks. So we go to Dere, we ask Santa Mahapurks to do Ardas for us so that we can be successful in our lives. But we, unfortunately, we don't realize that the biggest Santa Mahapurk is sitting right here. Right. All the Guru Sikhs in the past recognized that Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is the King of Kings. How else can Baba Deep Singh Ji fight with his head in his hand? How else can Pai Mani Singh Ji be cut limb by limb? How else can Pai Taru Singh Ji be scalped alive? How else can Pai Subeg Singh Ji and Pai Subaj Singh Ji be put on a wheel and crushed to death? How else could Baba Banda Singh Ji Bahadur completely destroy Sirhand? And how can recent Guru Sikhs like Shaheed Pai Amrit Singh, Amrik Singh Ji, Shaheed Baba Manojal, and all these other countless Guru Sikhs, Shaheed Pai Fodja Singh, how could they do the, and give the Qurbaniya that they give if they didn't have Paro Sain Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The way to have that Parosa is to, is to fall at the feet, beg for that Amrit. And if we've blessed to have that Amrit running in, in our blood, then we have to nurture that Amrit and make sure that Amrit doesn't die out. And the way to do that is to come into Sangat, read Bani, and not only read Bani for ourselves, but to help and inspire those to read Bani also. We also have to think about where we are getting our knowledge from. If we are getting our knowledge from, from people who do shanka of Bani, if we are getting our knowledge from people who haven't fallen at the feet of Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, then we need to reevaluate ourselves which kind of Guru Sikhs do we want to be? Do we want to be the, the followers of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj or do we want to be the followers of people who have turned their back to the Guru? At the camp, we focused on Dasambani. 
we focused on the bani of siri pachitra nadak from siri dasam guru granth sahib ji and without a doubt after speaking with some of the things and i'm not going to take too much more time after speaking with some of the things it felt like last year's camp there was something special about it there was something there was a, there's always been plenty of blessings at every single camp that i have been involved in whether it be as a camper or whether it be as a sevadar but at last year's camp there was something else the amount of sangata that came forward and said that we're going to to give our heads to guru gobind singh ji maharaj i've never seen that many campers come forward in any camp that i've ever been to and that's not because of the sevadars that's because we there was that emphasis we had that love for guru granth sahib ji and for dasam guru granth sahib ji for the bani of sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj keep that love keep that energy and keep that focus on the feet of sri guru granth sahib ji we're now into 2017 it's been many months since camp and sometimes when we get back into the norms and get back into the routines we we become lazy we we fall into what seems to be comfortable and we let go this is probably a a blessing that cat that reunion has come so late because this is the time now where we need a real push it's the start of a new month start of a new year and this is our opportunity now to reevaluate what's going on in our time, in our lives now as individuals and look at the direction that we're going in and if we haven't got our the star on our head and if we haven't got our gatra across our chest then let's make that our priority for 2017 if i've said anything out of turn i apologize that's not my intention i'd like to thank the sevadars for allowing me to speak i wasn't intending to speak but it came upon me last minute so that's why nothing's really been prepared but if i leave with one thing in your mind or if you leave with one thing in your mind is to think about the sacrifices that guru sahib made for his bond and this is his bond you are his bond the sacrifices that guru <coughs> guru tegh bahadur sahib ji made the sacrifices that sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj made and the and the sacrifices that the guru sikhs thereafter have made has not been wasted if we follow the sikhian if we follow that path of sri guru gobind singh ji if we don't follow that path then the shahidiyan that those guru sikhs have given is worthless because they gave it for us and if we don't salute if we don't stand up and recognize their shahidiyan and the biggest thing that they were fighting for was their sikhi and their siddak if we don't embrace that sikhi if we don't have that siddak inside of our hearts then why did they give their life 350 years of guru gobind singh ji maharaj of tarpur has just passed let's make this year our year to remember and to become one with guru gobind singh ji maharaj and we'll end with the three things the santana singh ji mahapur vartman mukhi damdi mitak sa continuously said in their speeches amrit shoko bani paro singh sajjo pujyakti khima wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh